All right, guys, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Morton Revival. I don't know, Morton Rebuild. I don't know what we're going to call this series. I'm still in the, in the works of it. I think it's Morton Rebuild is what we're calling it just now. But maybe Morton Revival might be a little bit better. You never know. But anyway, guys, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. I know in the last episode that would have went out yesterday was a uh, a little bit, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I, I kind of said it wrong at the end of the video. I said I was going to come back at the air game. And let's just say I didn't. Uh, so I'm going to come back after this 1-0 defeat to Dunferman. And then got to be 1-0. When one Alua, we absolutely thumped them. Alua Traore came in for the first time. Uh, well, second time. Maybe, maybe, maybe third time. Oh, fourth time. Okay, well, he came in and he scored five. So, we absolutely dominated that game. And uh, then we played part of this. So, we got beat 2 1. We then played County, got beat 1 0. Rafe, we got beat 3 1. And then we started to pick up a little bit. But ever since we lost our our main man, Reese, we lost Reese in January, at the end of January. We went downhill so quickly. It is unbelievable. We lost Reese Leon because he was in the team against Ross County in this one. And the team in this one. And the team. Like, he was always playing a game. He might not have played well, but he must have just had that impact for the players. And yet, we struggled. We'd lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Lost 9 games in 1, 2, 3. And in, in, in 12. 9 games in 11, sorry. It's, it's very poor signs uh, if we're going into next season. So therefore, if we go to the competition, we are now no longer able to finish anywhere higher than 6th place in the league. We have an, e an easier game against Queen of the South, potentially. Uh, hopefully this could be uh, the, uh, the end of the season that we need to try and get a 6th place finish. It is technically not a top five it's not a top half championship finish um again we essentially just finished mid table um but this season coming up i am excited because we have a lot of transfers coming in if we have a look at the home page this is what it's looking like we are getting in this season we have got theo archibald who looks insane i know he's only two and a half star sorry three and a half star winger but he looks very good is that winger that can maybe change stuff? I know Jordy Jones was going to be that. He got injured very early last season. Now we've got a little bit of rotation. We can play Theo. We can play Aiden. We can play Jordy. It's it's just it's a good it's a good rotation feel for the team. We've also got Andy Winter. If James Wallace does not perform as he has been in the past couple of seasons, like this season, he has been incredible. Thirty five goals. In 45 games is just exceptional. It is ins insane. Yet he's only a two star player. He doesn't have the potential to grow as much. And Andy Winter is already better than him. So maybe he is the option to go further into uh, for the forward. Um, in terms of these youngsters here. Leo Watson was more just a pick up. Because he was on. Looked alright. As an 18 year old he looks not bad. Um, nothing crazy but. Yeah, and then Jay King actually doesn't look too bad at all. Um, but yeah, you never know. You never know. So 15 clubs were interested in him. So uh, a lot of them are Premiership clubs. So he could, he might have that. He might live to expectation with us, you know. Um, so yeah, let's. Uh, I know I said I was going to get a couple of games, but we're only going to have one game, and now we have been offered a contract for uh, Morton. And this is our season, end of current season, mid-table, finish thingy. And we didn't get that. But next season is when they want me to, to essentially work towards recording a top half championship finish. But next season, I want us to get to the playoffs. I want us to get a playoffs position. Um, so let's negotiate. We have a two-year deal. One and a half grand a week. We will take it. Um, 
So we've now signed a new two-new deal. So we have got what it takes. Hopefully, bring Morton to the front stage and start to start competing in Europe. But we've got a long way for that one, lads. We've got a long way from that one. Um, or hopefully, man. It was just very disappointing to see Reese Leon go because as soon as he went. You see the stats, the, the stats don't say it all, the stats, well they do, the, the game say it all, the schedule says it all, we lose them in January and we go downhill. Consistent every single month up until January, we were insanely consistent that month, and then we lose. It was uh, a tough one to take essentially. But we are going to play this game. I mean, maybe maybe we have to sell it in this bit, you know? Maybe that's what our... Because uh, he's already considered when they should move to a bigger club. In his contract, he has a 1.4 million release cost. So maybe... Maybe, just maybe... <laughs> We have a, a 1.4 million pound player in, in a way, you never know. Um, and that would bring a lot of funds into the club in terms of the club itself and into uh, the other uh, positions. Like uh, it would it would bring club into improving facilities, it could, it could bring money into improve everything in the club, you know. The wage, the, the financial bill, that our debt bill is ridiculous. I'm pretty sure we're over seven hundred thousand pounds in debt, which is just crazy. Um, yeah, we just have a lot of things that we have to work on. Uh, now we are playing against Queen of the South. If we can end the season on a high, that would be magnificent. Lewis Strap whips it in. James Wallace blocked on the line. He's offside anyway. Yeah, we need to end the season on a high. Fingers crossed. We do not lose our concentration. Ah, oh, strap. Whew. Another position that we are going to need to sign either next season or for this season is a goalkeeper. We don't have a goalkeeper. We are using uh, the uh, the on loanee United goalkeeper. And I mean, he's been all right. He's not been anything special, though, honestly. Um, we certainly can find the better goal. We can maybe get someone from the youth academy. Um, but we need to find that that starlet because the, go the, the goalkeeper position is probably our weakest position. Also, defense is our weakest position. I I, I definitely say our set one one more centre back and we're away. But yeah, we need a centre mid. We do need centre midfielders uh, to, because we do not have any major centre mids. If that makes sense. We don't have like that Reese Leon, you know, that that ball winning midfielder that's gonna turn over the possession and actually maybe get us a chance at all. Oh, Malcolm. Excuse me. Inverness winning is not ideal. Come on, lads. If we can get the win here, then we go. Above in, uh, Inverness and into six, but Malcolm is wanting to have other ideas. Go on, Jordy. Certainly interesting to see the club. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is second goal of the season for Finn. Fucking hell. Lone striker, certainly showing what he's worth. They haven't lost the game in so long against Queen of the South. Surely we're not going to make it today. Yeah, they got some really good loanee signings, like Josh Doig and Finn Mal. They've done some good business in the loan market anyway.
Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be an, a, a paradise for Morton anyway. Seems like it will be a, a, a distraught end to the season, if I am honest. Maybe we get a point. Wallace Jones! It's Jody Jones, and I mean, he scored three in the last three. And I must say, coming back, coming back from injury, he has been a very good player. He really has. He really has shown what he is capable of. And he has to bring that back in for the new season. Potentially, but for no injuries he's as well. That would be so, so, so good. James Walsh is in. Oh, get the winner, but he's offside, unfortunately. Off the kick off, that would have been insane, that's for sure. Oh, if Dunfermline want to equalise, he might have a chance. Doesn't look like it. Unfortunately, we get a 1 0 draw against Queen of the South. Therefore, we finish 7th in the Championship season, which was the exact same position we finished last season round. So, we have made no improvements this season. We have a very tough year coming up for us in season. Two and a half. We then get 212k for finishing seventh. The board are pleased with the mid table finish. Now we will have a look at our uh, monthly performance. Not bad. We have signed Jay Charleston on a free contract, Jack Newman. Unfortunately, the three and a half star goalkeeper is signing a new extension to United. We might not be able to get him this year, but we might be able to get him next year. Hopefully, we can get him. Uh, and thinking Clark waiting on contract. Now, Scott Clark is one of those players that we have to sign a new contract. He wants us to finish in the top half. We will finish in the top half. Unfortunately, he wants a relegate. He wants a release clause, which sucks. Um, but what can you expect? He's a uh, he's a wonder kid, that's for sure. None of these guys interest me, and we have 19k wage budget and 90k transfer budget to spend next season. Uh, Leo Watson signs for the club also, and we're going to see our end of season review. I kind of just think about where we are taking the club come next season. Here we go. The new arrivals that came in this season. Alai Traore. The lad on loan from Rangers done terrific. Honestly, he done really well. It was just a shame that we didn't use him as much. Uh, we had to kind of use him when I think he went and he scored five goals in one game. Which was insane. Jack Newman technically was probably my best signing in terms of a goalkeeper. He was, uh, he was different, you know. He was certainly different. Uh, if I was to try and put an offer in for him on loan again, they would accept it. So hopefully we can get him on loan again. He was good, and then we could get him on a free transfer come the end of the season. Stephen Bradley is the player on loan from us. He's on loan, and this could be the midfielder that we were look we were talking about. We got him, uh, we got him from somewhere, and then let him out on loan because he just wasn't that good. We're on loan. He's on loan at Forfa, and he's had a fantastic season at Forfa, as it seems. Playing forty games, getting five goals and five assists, fantastic stuff. Jordy Jones, Jordy Jones didn't do too well, but. He can do a bit better in the future. Adam Frizzell, not the greatest, not the worst. Nicklin Glass, not too bad. Wardrop, not too bad. And the rest are... Yeah. The season results, the board are pleased. The team finished mid-table with the... In the Scottish Championship. Excuse me. The team struggled to find the best form of things, but otherwise enjoy... We're able to enjoy which saw them produce a highly respectable finish in the, the table. Again, some some fantastic results against certain teams, some poor results like Partick Thistle. I don't think we actually beat them at all last season. Uh, no, we did beat them. We beat them once out of the four times that we did play them. Not ideal, not the best, not the worst. Um, I'm to remember the biggest win, obviously, at Troyori 6-1. 
the game against uh, Oh, excuse me, and then obviously the game against Evergreen Locos Leon. Excuse me. So the club's reputation has not changed. Uh, the team's finances haven't improved on the last season. And uh, the board might want to see measures taken to improve the situation. Um, we have a lot to do with this. We've got a lot more money coming in from last season in terms of the sponsorships. But they lost a lot from the broadcast revenue. We didn't have anything that way. Um, and that is our team of the season. Scott McGinty aid in this bit with James Wallace. Of course, Wallace would be in the side. Bruce Leon, who does not unfortunately play for us anymore, but Stephen Bradley might be that replacement for us next season. Uh, and hopefully, hopefully. So I'd won one manager of the month award in August. Hard work and effort pays off on the pitch. It's a feat. Didn't go unrewarded at our end of season award ceremony. Um, I mean, there you go. This is just the signing of the season was Adam Frizzell. Goal of the season was Reese Leon. He's not there, unfortunately. Young player of the season and fans player of the season was James Wallace. Most assists in the campaign was actually Reese Leon, but he left and it's now Aiden Nisbet. And the top scorer at 35 goals, of course, goes to James Wallace. And uh, we, have a, we have a very nice setup going. Um, the club expectations next season are to finish uh, mid-table, but I am challenging the teams to go for a little bit more. Uh, excuse me, I have to go in there again. I think that, that we have to go a little bit more attacking. We have to go a lot more gung-ho attack and try and get uh, and just try and get a thingy we also get the Jack Newman on loan uh, youth demolition changement after cable double mode just a dodge the academy has been increased nice the board aims for average just can the board long term putting them out nice you'll love to see it we are getting uh, an increased time with that we can get Newman now as well Hopefully he doesn't sign a new contract with Dundee United and we can get him on a free for next season. We get Scott Clark signed. None of these guys really are... Uh... I suppose we could offer these guys contracts. What would it harm? They're not the worst player. No. Like they're four and a half star for kind of potentially three and a half stars. Not terrible. And they could maybe get a decent amount of money for them. It, it, it could have been worse. I was thinking more like five star only. But three and a half stars, four, four, three and a half star to four and a half star is not bad. Um. Yeah. So oh, we are seventh in the league. Seventh. Uh, we are getting a little bit of lag spikes, probably just because we're simulating through. Actually, let's see who finished the competition's top scorer. Both oh, stats and player stats. It was James Wallace and Timmy Abraham who finished on the most. I mean, Abraham got 12 player of the match awards. Wow. Fair play. Fair play. <laughs> he done really well that season, Kamarnik. Yeah, so we're just going to go a little bit further down the line, see how we go. The trials will finish. If we get any more 
news on the signings. If not, I'm going to head end the episode here and we will come back for, I think we'll come back for the Bear Fed Cup games. Then we will start, I will play a couple games in the league. Uh, I might, what I might do is I might come back at the end of the Bedford Cup to see where we compete, if we are going to maybe compete this year, and uh, then we'll come in for the first game as well of the season, end that episode, play a few more games, and kind of just do episodes there on then. Uh, we'll do like we were doing with the Portsmouth, because it is 36 games in the season just now. Um, we will do it that way, and hopefully it makes it. A little bit better maybe we go for our push maybe we we'll look at signing some more players i don't know guys but if you have enjoyed today's video make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so guys and uh, a little bit of a shorter one but it's the end of the season and we finish seventh not ideal we get a new contract we get some superb loney signings hopefully for the next episode thanks guys and i'll catch you in the next one peace